Yo, what up gamers, it's your boy Dino, welcome back to another video here on the channel. So in today's video guys, I've got another dope modded outfit tutorial for you, which allows you to make some dope looking outfits in GTA 5 Online with the transfer glitch. Now you will need white joggers for this glitch, and if you are doing the IA badge merge like I am, you'll need that also. And with this glitch, all your outfits will be getting deleted. Before we continue with the video, shout out to the boys on the screen. If you guys want to shout out in a later video, go ahead and comment something nice in the comment section and drop a like onto this one. With that being said, let's have a little quick word from our sponsor. If you guys are looking for legit modded accounts, money drops, cash drops, services, anything, head over to digizani.com. Use discount code DINAROBSHD for 5% off all purchases. Be sure to check them out, guys. Alright, and guys, so do this glitch. As you always know, you'll need to have your main character in slot 1 and your second character in slot 2. Now your second character needs to be a female and you need to go ahead and find a new session to get the clothing stores on the map. Once you've got that, head over to any clothing store, go to scuba suits and go ahead and purchase the bold red scuba suit. This is our first outfit, the Gorga Joggers outfit. So once you go ahead and done that, all you want to go ahead and do now is head over to the accessory stand and put on those merging gloves. The merging gloves will be Woodland Tactical gloves, so go to the glove section and go ahead and purchase a light Woodland Tactical. From there that first outfit is complete, stage 1 of 3, go ahead and head over to the clothing thing and save this as an outfit. I'm going to head and save it as something that I will remember this will be by, so I'm going to go Blue Gorga. Make sure you guys save it as something you remember for the Crooked Cop later on. Moving on to the second uh, part of this outfit, you want to head over to the uh, pants section and go to the spotted muscle pants. Once you've got a spotted muscle pants on, head over to the top section and go to bikinis. Once you're in the bikini section, all you want to go ahead and do is purchase the black bikini. From there, go over to the tactical jackets and purchase the very last tactical jacket. Should look like this. Just so you're sure, after that head to bikinis, make sure you still have that black bikini on. Once you've got that on, it's completely fine, you're done with the outfit near enough, head over to the, uh, the shoe section right now to finish off the outfit. All you need to go ahead and do is go to the shoe section, go to high heel boots and purchase the black midnight boots. Once you go ahead and purchase those, make sure you have your merging gloves on with the Woodland Tactical gloves. Once you've got those gloves on, head over to the outfit section and save this as slot 2. Moving on to the last stage of this outfit, all you want to go ahead and do is head over to the top section. You want to go to work jackets and purchase the peach camel work jacket. With that being said, then go over to gun round t-shirts and purchase the blue digital t-shirt, the very last one. Once you go ahead and done that, you are done to save the outfit. Save this in slot 3 and that is the first outfit complete. From there, you'll need to head over to the pants, uh, top section sorry, and go to leather jackets. When you're in leather jackets, all you want to go ahead and do is purchase the blue JC jacket. Now watch out because there is two jackets like this, there's a logo one and there's also a not logo one. Purchase one without the logo, so it should be called blue JC jacket. Once you've got a blue JC jacket on, all you want to go ahead and do now is put on a two-tongue tank top. From there, you'll need to head over to the pants section and go ahead and go to utility pants and purchase the black battle pants. Once you go ahead and purchase the black battle pants, you want to go ahead and take off your accessories. Meaning, you want to go ahead and take off your gloves. Once you go ahead and take them off, you'll need to head over to the accessory stand. This part is optional guys, if you are merging gloves or IA badges, you'll need this part here, okay? So if you are, I am, go ahead and go to earrings, go to black and double, uh, sorry, B&W, black earrings, these ones right here, and these are your merging ones, which allow you to merge scarves, IA badges, and much more over to your outfits. From there, go ahead and save this in slot uh, 4, and this is your bodysuit top.
Moving on to part two of the outfit, you'll need to head over then to the pants section. Once you go over to the pants section, again we need to get those merging pants, go ahead and put a spotted muscle pants on in the sports section. Once you go ahead and purchase that, you need to go to the um, leather bomber jackets. Once you go to them, you'll need to go ahead and purchase the moss bomber jacket. Once you go ahead and purchase that, make sure the jacket is actually indeed closed. So what you want to go ahead and do is back out of that, go to your interaction menu, go to style and go ahead and go to jackets. Make sure it's closed. Once you go ahead and done that, make sure you put your merging gloves back on, which would be Woodland Tactical Gloves, and you've got those earrings back on. From there, you'll need to head over to the shoe section one more time and go to those midnight combo tack boots. Once you purchase the midnight combo tack boots, what you're going to go ahead and do now is head over to the accessory stand and save this outfit. And then you're ready to move on to part 3 of this outfit. For part 3 of this outfit we're going to do the same thing again with that gun belt. So you want to go ahead and go to work jackets and purchase the peach camo jacket. Once you purchase the peach camo jacket, what you want to go ahead and do is go to gun t-shirts and put on the blue digital t-shirt one more time. With that being said then, that is the second outfit complete. And you go ahead and save that under the main slot. With that being said, we are moving on to the yellow Tron outfit. From here, all you want to go ahead and do now is go over to the top section. When you go to top jacket, you want to go ahead and go to the, the bomber jackets or the biker cut, sorry, and purchase the biker cut dotted. Now as you see, I've got a blue digital t-shirt on. You want to go ahead and put a black bikini on or a tank top. It's completely up to you. So once you go ahead and sorted that out, you'll have obviously your uh, spotted muscle pants which should be allowed also. From there head over to the shoe section and all you want to go ahead and do is go to boots and put on the black slack boots. Once you go ahead and purchase those, you should be sorted to go. All you got to do from here is make sure you put on your gloves and your earrings. From there you want to head over to the top section and say this is an outfit. Make sure you call it yellow tron or something, or you want yellow tron or tron yellow. Moving on to part two of this outfit, all you want to go ahead and do now is put the work jacket peach camera on and a blue digital t-shirt, and that is the outfit complete. So go to the top section, go to work jackets, go to peach camo work jacket, go ahead and purchase it, which will be right here. From there, head to the gun round t-shirts and put on the blue digital t-shirt. Once you've gone and done that, say this isn't the outfit you've just made. So up there is the yellow Tron outfit complete, which is two of them right here. The next outfit is concluded with the white joggers. So like I said before at the beginning of the video, you will need white joggers to complete this outfit. This is the checkerboard outfit. So all you want to go ahead and do now is go to the tank tops and go ahead and purchase the two-tongue tank. Once you go ahead and purchase the two tongue tank, all you want to go ahead and do is go to leather jackets and purchase that blue JC jacket again. Once you go ahead and purchase that, just this one right here, you want to go ahead and put on a spot of muscle pants again 
and also you want to go ahead and have those midnight boots on one more time so go ahead and go to the top uh, the pants section and go ahead and put the midnight boots on make sure you have your earrings on and your gloves to actually taken off from here you can go ahead and save the outfit and move on to the second part of this outfit Make sure you call this like checkerboard if you have got the white joggers. If you don't, you can go ahead and put utility pants on the battle pants for the black joggers instead. From here, all you can go ahead and do now is go to the top section, go to bust ears, and go ahead and purge the, the camel bust ear. All you can go ahead and do now is take off your leather jacket. Let's go to go to suit jackets and put on none. From here, the glove now is all you got to do now is put on the woodland tactical gloves, and this is the outfit complete. Make sure you have your earrings on and your gloves, and save this into the outfit you just made. All you want to go ahead now is go to the top section one more time and all you want to go ahead and do is put a work jacket peach camo on and that blue digital t-shirt. So like I said before, work jackets, peach camo, gum runner and blue digital t-shirt. Then you go ahead and save that into the last slot. And that is your three outfits combined into one outfit completed. Moving on to the last outfit, the black jersey with a trash vest. So all you want to go ahead and do now, again, go over to that leather jackets and put on that two-tongue tank top and that leather jacket. So if you're going to go ahead leather jackets first, go down to the JC blue jacket and purchase that. From there, head to the t uh, tank tops and purchase the two-tongue tank. From there, head over to the pants section and you want to go ahead and purchase those black battle pants one more time found it in utility pants once you've got to purchase those make sure you take your accessories off and leave your earrings on so you want to go ahead and take your gloves off by going to your interaction menu and taking your gloves off from there save this as an outfit Moving on to the next part of this outfit, you want to head back over to the uh, pants section. When you're in the pants section, go ahead and put those merging pants on the spotted pants again, and from there head to the top section. You want to go to bomber jackets and purchase this bomber jacket I do purchase here, the red one. Once you have purchased that, head over to the shoe section, and all you want to go ahead and do is put on your merging gloves as well. When you go up to the shoe section, all you want to go ahead and purchase is the worn chocolate slack boots. Once you go ahead and done that, put those accessories on with those gloves, and all you want to go ahead and do then is save this into the outfit you just made. Moving on to part 3 of the final outfit, all you want to go ahead and do now is head back over to the top section, go to the leather jackets and go ahead and purchase the blue cropper. Once you go ahead and purchase that, all you want to go ahead and do now is go to tuck t-shirts and buy the black classic. So once you go ahead and purchase the black classic, you will then need to transfer your outfits over. To do this, all you want to go ahead and do is save all the outfits, make sure they're all, all different and all complete, just like you can see here. So as you see, I've got all my outfits saved. From here, all I want to go ahead and do now is back out of here and take the easy way out. When you've taken the easy way out, you want to go ahead and go to start online creator. Now for this part guys, I will not be showing you the creator glitch, that will be linked in the description as it will make the video completely longer and it's not worth it. So there you go, the link is actually in the description to do the transfer glitch. 
once you're back over to your male character you'll notice you still have the outfit you did select before doing the glitch make sure you go ahead and save this in the very last slot so for me it's my white joggers with the IA badge and much more from here you might need a friend to help you out if you're not you can go ahead and go to your settings and put your matchmaking to open which I do to do the first outfit all you need to go ahead and do is go to the racing glove jerseys and purchase the blue and white racing glove jersey Once you've kind of purchased it, all you want to go ahead and do is head to a crooked cop by here and telling your friend to invite you or go into start, go into online, go to matchmaking options, make sure your matchmaking is actually on, just like you see me right here. From there, go to jobs, rockstar created versus and crooked cop. When you're inside that crooked cop mission, make sure the settings of your clothing is set to player owned and go ahead and ready up. When you're ready up, all you want to go ahead and do is go one to the right, one to the right again, one to the right again. And you'll notice all your outfits do combine to one. All you got to do here is ready up. When you're inside that mission, all you want to go ahead and do is bring up your interaction menu, go to style, put a rebreather, or go one to the left or one to the right, and go ahead and put up your phone and quit the mission. When you're back into an online session, make sure you go over to the clothing store and save this as an outfit. When you save this as an outfit, delete the first three outfits. From there, you'll need to head back to a Crooked Cop mission by going to Stop, Online, Jobs, Rockstar, Created, and Crooked Cop again. When you're in that mission, make sure that the clothing is set to player owned. When you're inside that mission, all you want to go ahead and do is go one to the right, one to the right, and stop. So you want to go ahead one to the right once, and then ready up. Once you're inside that mission, again, all you want to go ahead and do is put an earpiece or a rebreather on. Once you've done that, you want to go ahead and up on your phone and quit the mission. Once you're back in an online session, head over to the accessory stand, make sure you do not mess this part up. Go to the glove section and scroll through the glove section until you come across the racing gloves. Once you go ahead and put those on, you'll notice your outfit does look like this, that's completely fine. All you want to go ahead and do now is head over to the, the outfit stand and delete the first outfit. Once you delete that first outfit, again, all you want to go ahead and do is tell your friend or join a job. So go ahead and go start, jobs, rockstar created, versus mission and crooked cop. When you're inside that crooked cop, make sure the clothing is set to player owned and ready up. When you're inside that mission, you want to go ahead and go two to the right. And you'll notice your whole outfit does go ahead and merge together. From there, let's go ahead and ready up. When you're inside that mission, all you want to go ahead and do is bring up your interaction menu, go to style, go one to the left or one to the right, and then go ahead and pull up on your phone and quit the mission. Once you're back into an online session, you know what you do have the outfit. All you want to go ahead and do is go to the clothing stand and go ahead and save this as an outfit at the very bottom. Once you go ahead and save this as an outfit, you want to go ahead and delete the last two outfits. Moving from here, if you are moving the IA badge, it's completely fine. But from starters, you want to go ahead and go to the leather jackets, top section, sorry, go to jerseys, and put on the same black and yellow jersey I do use in the gameplay. From here, head over to the pants section, and go ahead and put on the uh, heist pants. From here, you'll need to go ahead and click start, go to online, go to jobs, rocks are created, and go to that quick cop mission one more time. While you're inside that quick cop mission, make sure the clothing is set to player owned. What you're going to go ahead and do now is go one to the right, one to the right again, and you notice your outfits just combined together. The gloves, Tron Top, and the bell have merged together, and the AA badge if you have it. 
from there all you want to do is ready up when you're actually inside that mission all you want to go ahead and do is put a rebuild or earpiece on by going one to the left or one to the right and go up on your phone and quit the mission when you're back into an online session go ahead and save us as an outfit at the very bottom Once you've saved this, go ahead and delete the last two Tron outfits. From here, you will need the white joggers for this outfit, like I said at the beginning of the video, so go ahead and select the outfit with the white joggers. And all you want to go ahead and do from here is go to that Crooked Cop mission again. So go ahead and click Start, go to Online, Jobs, Rockstar Created, and Versus, and Crooked Cop. Once you're inside that mission, make sure the clothing is set to Player Owned, and start the mission. Once you're in there, all you want to go ahead and do is go on to the right and ready up. Once you're in that mission, all you want to go ahead and do then is put an earpiece or a rebreather on by going to your interaction menu, go to style, go on to the left or one to the right. Once you've gone ahead and done that, go ahead and quit the mission by going up on your phone and quit the mission. When you're back in an online session, go ahead and go to the club section again run through there until you come across the racing gloves. Once you find them, just go ahead and put them on, your outfit should look like this. From there, head over to the outfit section and then go ahead and delete the last outfit. From there, again, start up the Crooked Cop mission by going to start online jobs rocks are created versus and Crooked Cop. While you're in there, make sure it's set to player owned, clothing, and go one to the right and one to the right again. And you notice your whole outfit does merge onto one. From there, let's go ahead and ready up. Once you're inside that mission, to save the outfit, all you want to go ahead and do then is put a rebreather or an earpiece on by going into your interaction menu, going to style, accessories, left or right. From there, go ahead and pull up your phone and quit the mission. When you're in an online session, go ahead and save as an outfit at the very, very bottom. Once you go ahead and save these, make sure you go ahead and delete the last two outfits. Moving on to the last outfit, you've got your black jersey with the racing suit. All you want to go ahead and do is start that Crooked Cop mission again by going to Jobs, Rockstar Created, Missions, that's right, uh, Versus, and Crooked Cop. When you're inside that code cop, set the player owned, clothing, go one to the right, and ready up. As always, when you're inside that mission, all you want to go ahead and do is go to your interaction menu, go to accessories, go to left or right, and go ahead and quit the mission. Once you're back in the online session, you have the outfit, go ahead and go to the glove section, scroll through there until you come across the racing gloves. Go ahead and put this on, your outfit should look like this. What you go ahead and do now is delete the first outfit. From there, go ahead and click start online, job, rockstar created, versus crooked cop again. When you're inside there, make sure the clothing is set to player owned, and all you want to go ahead and do then is go two to the right. And you'll notice your whole outfit has merged together. With that being said, go ahead and ready up. When you're inside that mission, all you want to go ahead and do then is put a rebreather or an earpiece on. Once you go ahead and done that, you can go ahead and pull it up in your phone and quit the mission. And then when you do spawn back into an online session, you do have all the outfits. So there we go guys, that's it for today's video. If you did enjoy it, please do go ahead and drop a like on this one. These are the last outfits I do today. If you did enjoy them, please do let me know. If you are going to wear them, make sure you send me a screenshot over on Twitter for a shout out in a later video. With that being said guys, thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope you enjoyed the outfits. If you did, let me know in the comment section what you think of them. And I will see you in the next one. Till next time guys, it's your boy Dino. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.